of the day. Call the word of God your life depend on my life depend on taking heed to the word of God. And this time we're going to bring forth our speaker, and we all know her, so we're not even going that way. Our speaker today is Vanya Deborah Cole from the Church of Jesus Christ. Vanya Cole, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I was coming up the stairs, I heard them singing, I know God is a good God. And I can say, oh yes he is. I don't know about nobody else, but I can say yes he is. And I praise the Lord because he's worthy, worthy to be praised. Listening to the beautiful testimonies, I'd like to take time to give honor to the Spirit of God and His Son, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life. I give out to our beloved pastor in his absence. He's here earlier, but I loved he wasn't here, but I still give honor to him. Amen. I give honor to Elder Suwa, all the ministers, evangelists, saints of God as a whole. The Lord is still worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. And as I said before, preaching is not an easy job because you have to seek the Lord which way to go yes. and what to do and what to say. It's not always easy knowing what the Lord wants you to tell his people. But I praise the Lord today. I wrestled last night. I tried to lay down. I got up. I tried to lay down. I thought it was this. Then I thought it was that. The Lord gave it to me this morning in the service. And I, I asked Minister Irma if she would sing this song, lead us in this song today. Ask you to pray for me, because without the Lord, I can't do nothing. Praise the Lord. Minister Irma. Ask you to join in with me. Keep the faith. My brother, keep the faith, my sister, hold on, hold on, cause it won't be long before your change comes, keep the faith. I'm 
Oh, my God. 
you a sidewalk good. You better hold on to that word. You better hold on to that word. I said, you better hold on to that word. God is good. God is a protector. You don't have to worry. All you have to do is live right. If you live right, all you have to do is do right. All you have to do is seek the Lord. While it may be found, call on him while he is there. Oh, I'm sorry. 
something against me in death, but it will never, it will prosper. God never stepped in. He let King Herod do what he had to do, what he thought he could do. And how King Herod put all those security around him, brother Peter. But he forgot. Jesus told Peter, said, Peter, I prayed for you. Jesus, pray for Peter. You can put your name, what your Peter name is. Jesus, pray for me. And he said that your faith fell in life. He said, when you are converted, strengthen your pride I come to tell somebody, you better tell the enemy it ain't going to work. You may scheme, you may put your head trying to come against me, but it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. You know what I love about God? You can't hurry God. That's all I'm saying. Oh no! You just got to wait. You got to trust Him. See that's what many folks believe. Losing their trust in God. You got to trust Him and give them time. No matter how long it takes. And I love the way God works. My brother told me a long time ago you were going through God standing right there. God right there watching everything. You remember God, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. He see every scheme. Everything the enemy is going to you. He already know about it. He already know about it. He said, And he don't come in that way sometimes. He could, but he don't come in that way. And I praise the Lord. I believe why Peter was in that prison, he was keeping the faith. I said, I believe why he was in that, he kept the faith. He kept the faith. That's what you got to do today. They may put you in prison. Just keep the faith. Go ahead, Elder, what they say. And when Herod would have brought him forth, uh -huh. the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, uh -huh. bound with two chains, All right. and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Uh -huh. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, uh -huh. and the light shined in the prison, All right. and smote Peter on the side, uh -huh. and raised him up, uh -huh. saying, Arise up quickly. Uh -huh. And his chain fell off his, from his hand. Uh -huh. And the angel said unto him, uh -huh. Gird thyself, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. Uh -huh. And so he did. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, uh -huh. and follow me. Uh -huh. And he went out and followed him, uh -huh. and wist not uh -huh. that it was true which was done by the angel. Uh -huh. But thought he saw a vision. Uh -huh. And when they were past the first and second ward, uh -huh. they came into the iron gate uh -huh. that leadeth into the city, yes. which opened to them uh -huh. of his own accord. Uh -huh. And they went out and passed on through one street, yes. and forbid the angel of the party. Uh -huh. All right. I mean, that's how fast God worked. Yes. I said, that's how fast God worked. Yes. God sent the commandment. Go get Peter. Go get him. He sent the angel to get Peter. He said, go get him. Herod was in shock. They couldn't believe him. Because all that security they had around him. God said, go get him. Because power, God spoke once. The scripture said, twice I heard power belong to God. Power belong to God. Don't think the enemy getting by. Ain't nobody get past God. I said nobody get past God. I don't care who he is. I don't care how big you is. You ain't get past God. You may get past your mother. You may get past your father. You may get past the pastor. And you may get past the judge, but you ain't get past God. God rules in the kingdom of man. I said God rules in the kingdom of man. But we serve an awesome God. Yes. I don't know about you, I'm serving an awesome God. Amen. A many times the enemy have came against me. But the scripture said when the enemy come in, like a flood, because he's going to come in on me. The 
spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. That's why the scripture says, Find my brother. Somebody got the whole armor on. Find me, my brother. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his life. Put on the whole armor that you may withstand the wiles of the devil. All his tricks, all his schemes. You got to have the whole armor so you can defeat the enemy. Because the Bible said, Greater is he, that's in me. Then he, that's in the world. You don't have to walk in fear. You don't have to walk around with your head down. We serve the awesome God. God is awesome! God is awesome. God is awesome. What I love about the story, the saints were praying without ceasing. I said the saints began to pray on what I called. All they had to do, get together. Because the Bible said, the fire of sexual prayer of a righteous man. Avail as much. You better tell somebody, prayer still works. I said, prayer still works. Prayer still works. I said, prayer still works. 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 I don't care what you're trying to do. Prayer still works. And you know what? I praise the Lord. That I know it works. That's why I put my trust in Him. Because David said, the Lord, he is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of who shall I be afraid? So when the wicked, there's some wicked peoples in this world. When the wicked, even my enemies, therefore I want you to hear me today, came upon me to eat of my flesh. They stumbled and they fell. Go and host. Bring your hips with you. Go and host. Shall they camp against me? My heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me, brother. If this would I be comfortable. One thing. I ain't asking for more than one thing. This is the one great thing. One thing that I desire of the Lord. That when I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. And the quiet is different. And I love what the scripture said. I'm going to bring it a little forward to you. So when my father and my mother, when my husband and your wife, when the children, when your friends, forsake you, then, then the Lord will take you up. They said, wait on the Lord. Be a good courage. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. Hold the Lord. Somebody said, Faith that wait. Faith that wait. Come on with me. Faith that wait.
they were the spies under the Lord's office quickly. When the wrath was kindled against them. Oh yeah, when the wrath was kindled against them. Then the waters that overwhelmed us. Then the waters would overwhelm us. The streams had gone over our soul. The streams had gone over our soul. Yeah. Then the proud water. Then the proud waters. Had gone over our soul. Had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Who has not given us as a prey. Have not given us as a prey. Then they came to come in and take us away. Uh-huh. Our soul is escaped. Our soul is escaped. As a bird out of the snares. As a bird of the snare. Of the fowler. Of the fowler. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. And we are escaped. And we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help. Our help. You better hear me today. Your help. Your help. Your help. You better hear me. I don't care what the devil doing out there. I know my house every night. I don't care what they're doing out there. But I tell you what, I'm covered under the blood. I'm covered under the blood. When I'm in my car, I said, Lord, go before me. When I go in the grocery store, Lord, go before me. They just said, lead me in a plain path uh, because of my enemy. Oh, Lord. The enemies on every side. But well, God is great enough. We serve a great God. God is a good God. God is a good God. God is. 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 Jump on your feet and say, He's good. Jump on your feet and say, He's good. Uh -huh. There was no small stir among the soldiers. All right. What had was become 
of Peter. Yes. And when Herod had sought for him, uh -huh. and found him not, he uh -huh. examined the keeper, uh -huh. and commanded that they should be put to death. All right. Now you see. He went down from Judea uh -huh. to Caesarea, and there abode. All right. You see how God wrote yeah. Just that fast. Yeah. I want to tell you something. I know prayer changed things. Yeah. I remember I was out there for 30 some years ago. But I had a praying woman. My mother would pray day and night. You know, that's a praying woman. She would be praying. And she would tell the saints, pray for my daughter. I was out there good and high, having a good time. That's what I thought. And I was just enjoying myself. But my mother prayed for me. My mother prayed for me. My mother kept on praying. And see, what happens sometimes? We give up praying. Don't you give up praying. Don't you give a prayer. Stick with that prayer. You may not see it right now, but it's coming. You got to hold on to faith and believe God. Amen. My mother kept on praying over 30 some years ago. I even shot Minister St. Clair. We were good friends in the room. <laughs> and she said me one day I was high. <laughs> and so somebody told Minister George St. Clair, say, you know, tell me me the same. She said, what? I just said. She went into shock. But you know what? God dealt with me. God dealt with me. You know what? My mother didn't have to keep fussing. She, she didn't have to keep saying nothing. God began to deal with my heart. That's how God will do it. That's just how fast God worked. God dealt with me. Amen. When I tried to get high, I couldn't feel the high no more. When I just tried to take a little drink, I couldn't feel it no more. I kept telling the Lord every day. I said, I'm tired of this life. Somebody can say the same thing. I'm tired of this life. I was sin sick. I knew, I told the Lord, there's got to be a better life for me than this. I know it's a better life for me than this. I begin to tell the Lord every day. And don't you know, the Lord heard me. Don't tell me the Lord don't hear sinners pray. The Lord heard me. You know what? He began to listen to what I was saying. The sincerity. And you know what? I'll never forget in 1988. I had been lying to my mother. They told my mother I was getting high. You know how, how y'all folks do. What I'm told on me. And I said, no, mama, I'm not getting high. They lied. And God dealt with me. I said, go and tell your mother the truth, what you're doing. And I went to my mother. I called her this night. 1980, I said, mama, I said, I'm going to tell them the devil this night. I have been lying to you. Yes, I have been getting high. Yes, I have. My sister, Sister Robinson, used to give me money and I would buy my drugs with it. Because she thought I told her I needed some food. But look at my sister today. I thank God for my sister, Missionary Robinson. Thank God for your sister. Thank God for Sister Robinson. She hung in there with me, knowing that I was lying. But guess what? Never ridiculed really me. God is a good God. When I called my mother, my mother began to pray for me on the phone. She said, baby, I've been praying for you. She said, let me pray for you right now. She said, I want you to call on Jesus. I want you to know, 1988, 5 o'clock in the morning, I begin to call on Jesus. I begin to call on Jesus. I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, I got Jesus. Do anybody got?
because we know Jesus said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And maybe sometimes you get a little weary in your walk. And sometimes you get a little alone in your heart. But we know Jesus is there to keep us. So maybe there's a, someone out there that feel like right now I need a little prayer. I need a little more strength because we all get down sometimes in this life. We go, we are here for, we're passing through this life. We're not here to stay. We're just passing through. But we know sometimes we get weary at heart. We all get weary. None of us exempt out there. But Jesus said it. I will be, never leave you off a second. Maybe there's someone out there today that needs prayer. You can stand up on your feet where you are. We got the elders here and the minister to pray for you right where you stand. Just stand. Sometimes we get downhearted. Sometimes we don't feel like coming out to the house of Lord. Because why? The devil has beat us up all day long. That's pulled us down. And then you got folks that you feel like this thing is not real. Jesus is not real. God is not real. But by the way, they said Jesus is God. But we know Jesus is not God. We know he is the son of God. I get down sometimes, saints. I get weary. I'm out there working all day long, every day. And sometimes the devil come and try to beat me up in the mind. But I play my gospel. I play my music. I listen to the word of God. I said, devil, use a liar. Because I believe. I believe that Jesus is the son of God. And I believe that Jesus has not come back yet. Because why? We're saints and we're still here. We have not been raptured. But we're going to go through this life. We're going to have some heartaches. And we're going to have some pain. And we're going to have some disappointments. But Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. Because who, who said it? He said it in his word. And I believe it. Because I'm standing here today. I'm a witness. And you are a witness. You know why? Because you're in the house of the Lord this morning. Stand on your feet. Those who are in prayer. We're going to call the devil to come forth and pray for all of us. Because we all need prayer. Because the devil is trying to tear us down. He's trying to wear us out. But he's not going to wear us out. You know why? Because we got the spirit of God living on the inside. Because it's short on the outside. We are a light to this world. A city that can't be hidden. Elder Zuel at this time. Keep the faith. Don't give up. Don't give in. The song we sing, I won't give up. I won't turn around. I'm going to hold on. We have started for the end. When I started this journey, I started for the end. And the end has not yet come. If you're going to China, they may stop in Germany or San Francisco or someplace else. When you get off that plane in those countries, you don't walk out of the airport, you go and get your connecting flight because you're headed for China. It's the same way with our salvation. We are headed for heaven. Yes. Let's not jump off the ship. That's right. Let's not get out of the ship. Let's abide in the ship. Yes. Let's keep the faith. When Peter was in prison, Peter didn't think that there was any way out. Even to the point where the angel came, came and he thought. He said it must be a vision. Yes. But the angel of the Lord led him. Let the Lord lead you. Let him take you through. Let him open the gate that seems to be closed. Let him open the windows that some men try to close. Let him open the door that some men put a lock on. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. As we go for prayer now, let's raise our hand. When you lift your hand, you lift your heart. When you lift your heart, you lift your heart to the Lord. I surrender all. Just surrender all to the Lord. I surrender
Christ of Nazareth. We come before thee right now, approaching the mercy seat one more time, where none can perish, O Lord God. As we lift our hands to thee, O Lord God, we lift our hearts. As we surrender to thee, O Lord God, we surrender all to you. Bless your people today as they stand before you. Lord God, you know what each and every one of us needs. And you know what we want. Oh Lord, look down on your people today. Those who are sick, oh Lord God. Those who have affliction and pain in their body. Right now we're asking you, in the name of Jesus, shut out your mic and touch somebody. Create miracles in their life, oh Lord God. Peter thought he saw a vision, dear Lord God. Let this person think it's a vision, but when they go back, the cancer is gone. When they go back, the sugar diabetes is gone. When they go back, the heart problem is gone. It is not a vision, it is real. You're a miracle worker. You're a way maker. You're a heart regulator, dear Lord God. We know you are able because we've seen you've done it before, and we know you'll do it again. And that's why we come before you. Humbly as we know how. Bless the bereaved families, O Lord God. The ones who have lost their young loved ones. The ones who are mourning, in, O Lord God. Help them to turn to thee, knowing that you are God who sits high and you hope, belowing the good and the evil. Protect us, O Lord God. Keep us in the hollow of your hand and the power of your mind. Guide us, O Lord God. Be a fence around us and protect us by night and by day. And help us that we may praise you in the beauty of all things. Keep us according to your will and your riches in glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and ask these mercies. Lord God, somebody who needs to be saved, touch their heart, O Lord God. Reveal your son, Jesus Christ, to them. That they may see that they are a sinner and they need to be saved. Give them that boldness to step forward. Yes. Give them that courage to forsake the world. Give them that courage to turn their back on the world and come to you. Strengthen them according to your will and take us through right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank and praise the Lord for everything that I can say.